YouTube, I'm Yin from Mum Who Sketch. Alright, today I'm going to share with you um, these dinosaur books that we own. And these are not a wide range but definitely um, these are the books that my children enjoy reading. And also some of the activities that we have done, you know, so, uh, like they, they love to draw this kind of dinosaur in a piece of paper. So this is actually a very interesting book for 3 years old to 5 and this is filled with hyper questions and 70 leaf flaps and inside they have actually tons of questions and answers and lots of colorful pictures that you can have uh, you can re actually read to, to your own children so you see children's memories are really amazing i kept a reading routine for them before bed and my elder sons uh, actually loved the book so much that until now when he was in grade 3 in school he still bring all the, sometimes they actually bring these books to school you know, um, to refresh his dinosaur knowledge and these are really amazing inside they are actually amazing photos um, that you can draw if you like yep. so even today he is able to name different kinds of dinosaurs which I have never heard of in my life you will know the dinosaurs eating habits how huge they are are they carnivores or omnivores and that kind of knowledge alright so today I'm going to do a dinosaur drawing and painting in this actual lab sketchbook so now I'm actually trying to decide the placement of the dinosaur I feel the joint line at the center is a bit distracting so instead of placing it directly at the center I decided to move it with most part of the body occupying the right page leaving some portion of the tail at the left side I'm using the estimation method to check the length of the tail and I will say that the proportion is really important in this sketch I am paying extra attention on the size of the leg and the distance between the hind and the front leg positions in order to make the sketch more believable. But also note that perspective is not required in this sketch. To ensure that I am drawing proportionally correct for the head, I am using a pencil tip to roughly measure the length of the head and it turns out it is around the same length as its neck. So this is a small tip on how to get the proportion correct. Next, I am focusing on drawing the spiky plates at the back. You may notice that the longest plates are located at the central portion of the spine area. And they move closer to the tail, the spiky plates are getting shorter. At first, I thought that this is a stegosaurus, but later I noticed that the stegosaurus um, plates are definitely shorter and the shapes are more uniform so the dinosaurs that I'm drawing now is actually called Cantrosaurus
so this is the trimester top that I'm actually drawing and this is actually much smaller than the size of the Cantrosaurus If you like my videos, ensure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to notify of future videos. Thank you for watching.